A touchscreen interface can detect the location of a physical contact on a display and through software interpret the contact as a command. This is the definition of touchscreen. So how does touchscreen actually work? In this video, I will be discussing the same. Hey there guys, this is Ajin Kivu to Retake and on this channel, we will take gear reviews, tips and trick videos and even explanation videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In 1948, Hume Gleekin invented a precursor to the synthesizer called the electronic sackbut. The volume of musical notes depends upon the amount of pressure you apply on the keynotes. E. A. Johnson developed the theory of a touchscreen display. His 1969 patent included the resistive and capacitive approaches. His two technologies remain the most popular implementations of a touchscreen interface. There are many types of touchscreens. We are including two of the most popular ones. The resistive touchscreens and the capacitive ones. A resistive touchscreen has two flexible sheets of material that have an electrical resistive coating. A gap separates the two sheets. This is what it looks like. This is the upper layer called flexible transparent surface. This is the transparent conductive layer. And this is the non-conductive separate dots. This is the transparent conductive layer. This is the glass substract. This is the LCD display layers. Typically a voltage travels across each sheet. One voltage detects the horizontal location of the touch. The other detects the vertical orientation of the point of contact. When you apply pressure to the top sheet of a resistive display, it flexes back towards the second sheet. When they come into contact with each other, a circuit is complete. Resistive displays only need pressure to register a touch. You can use anything to apply pressure to a screen and get results. Software maps the location of the touch against whatever program is running. Over time, the gap between the sheets may deteriorate due to repeated use, causing errors. Capacitive screens A capacitive screen has a layer coated with conductive material. Applying a small voltage across this layer creates an electrostatic field. This is how the capacitive touchscreen looks. This is called the thin transparent surface. This is called the transparent conductive layer. This is called the glass substract and this is called the LCD display layers. If something conductive contacts the screen such as your finger, it creates a capacitor changing the electrostatic field. Sensors along the edge of the screen, often at the corners, detect the changes in the electrostatic field and reduce the location of the touch. Capacitive screens don't rely on pressure, only changes in the electrostatic field across the display. That means if you wear non-conductive gloves and try to use a capacitive touchscreen interface, it won't work. Capacitive touchscreen interfaces are everywhere. Most smartphone, tablets and touchscreen displays use them. There are other types of touchscreens also, like Surface acoustic wave interfaces emit ultrasonic waves across a display. When you touch the display, you disturb the wave. Software measures the disturbances and interpret them as a touch commands. Some touchscreens use cameras to detect when and where you touch a screen. The early version of Microsoft Pixel Sense tablet, formerly known as the Surface, used near infrared cameras to detect touches. Yet another way to build a touchscreen is to use a grid of infrared beams, interpreting the beam registers a touch. What comes next? Interfaces like the Xbox Kinetic may hold the answer. The next generation of interfaces may rely completely on gestures and vocal commands. We may not ever need to touch anything again. 